Fnatic facing off against Boom. Well, we'll see how it goes. Makoto gonna face off against Moon. I wanna see how he does in this matchup, but me saying it beforehand puts the uh, the onus all on me that I could get wrecked completely right here. Like Jabs is. Gonna go down, FBZ finding the first kill. 23 Savage trying to run away. Does have the blink strike down to the low ground, but they still got eyes on this man. 23 Savage could be in some trouble. They move in, couple more punches. Is the Savage man going down? He is. Wow. In terms of the uh, kill score at the very least, 23 Savage again. Gonna get kind of hit here. He gets a good stroke of fade off. Thinking about chasing FBZ, tricks the trade, one more punch. Nice. Manages to find that kill as high, just has to back up again. Silence. Thinking about going, but too dangerous to jump FBZ there. The rapper Damn, coming in said from high, of heroes here. as well as Makoto. They run into DJ and well, that is going to be him going down dead. But can they get out with the rest of them? 23 Savage running in right now. Yeah. Uh, does have the jump away if he wants to over to Jabs, but that's not going to be enough to save him. I don't think Stun coming out, trying to take down Keskew. And I, that was just bizarre. Yeah. I find it hard to imagine they're going to be able to get any type of meaningful kill here. Well, I, Moon going to try and take the outpost. They want to battle for this one right now. 23 Savage onto Makoto, turning onto both of them, able to find one, possibly two kills here. Makoto also Ooh. likely to go down. One more punch gets the kill. So they do not find an outpost and backing away. Speaking of which, DJ already has a blink dagger. Uh, you got to be so careful right the now. Drain. Boom. Jump in, oh. Echo, the snowball reactions. Oh, pretty as all heck. FBZ trying to escape. They don't have the damage for him. He's actually going back in like a crazy person. And looks like he might be able to do it. Oh, just no, you can't do that against the Ricky. The as they turn it back around. Now the soul binder comes out. Stun on to three. Oh, it's so pretty. Are they going to be able to kill off Makoto? He's trying to run away. 23 Savage ends his life. And Jabs is going to live through the end. Boom, y'all messed up. Yeah, Grimstroke's walking back to the game now. And oh, it's an arcane rune on Moon. So yeah, this Ooh. is a great time to push that gun. Freaking 3.5 second cooldown Nether Ward. Let's go. Makoto stunned. They pop the glyph. You know, all the supernova up on the high ground and Fnatic just gonna back out with Greaves on ice. They do not need to fight this. They can go in a second time afterwards if they want once the supernova's down. 23 Savage gonna be rooted for the moment. Dagger goes out, but Moon there to heal him up afterwards. Dude, they still have so much time left on this arcane round. Yeah, and like you said, two minutes left on the Aegis as well. Like, he is so comfortable doing this and jumping in. If he wants to, finding the Phoenix, almost oh. getting the kill. Blink yeah. Strike completes it. Snowball from the low ground, but this man has an Aegis and a Dazzle and a Pugnoid oh, behind nice him. Soul bind. Yeah, holding spot for the moment. 23 Savage, another round of tricks of the trade. My Got friend. him caught. There's BKB round two, but Makoto. Does he have enough damage? He's got to be careful right now. They're going to take down this Ricky in a moment, or are they? No, he's just going to get life nope. drained. And Fnatic, they just, they can just stay here. They, they really don't seem to care. <laughs> Pugna is quickly creeping up my list of heroes that are really, really good right now. <laughs> we already saw the potential as a four position, and now the power as a mid, which is what we more traditionally see. And the, the defensive heals, freaking seven second cooldown, no Aghanim Scepter. 23 oh Savage can God. just play like he doesn't care. Devil May Care attitude. As these creeps are going to die. He will get it, I believe. All right. Now they have uh, like 50 seconds left on the Aegis. So I imagine like one more round of medic duty. No. Thinking about it, might or even just, just maybe... give up his life here. Yeah, Chase I think we just let him die. Okay. Yeah. Well, as you said, that Aegis is about to expire. Oh. Going for it. Fear oh. comes out. Nice combo. Oh, Dazzle got feared. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> Ice 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 got too close. He wasn't able to turn around and get the grave off. Yeah, that was unfortunate. So they, they will be punished finally. They went in a bit too far. Um, and now they're deciding they kind of want to fight. Uh, DJ's over here to the side. Oh, he's looking for the perfect echo. Oh, God. They can't group up together. You guys got to be careful. DJ coming in from the back. Ice 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 baiting. Are they going to go for it? DJ's thinking about it. Uh, it DJ, takes too oh, much. Oh, I see. He's just going to TP Damn. away. Yeah. Now that PA has completed hers, I think that they can trade off the importance of spell immunity. Yeah. I mean, to be honest, it's still not a great position to be in if you're boom. Um, yeah. As we see the fissure opening there. But it, at the very least, there's some ways to try and fight it. As Dream of Cell jumps in, can't get the kill onto Moon. And now they're leashed together over here to the side. 
Can they jump? Can they do anything? Jabs controlled. Going to go down. So they managed to kill off that Grimstroke. But it did cost them a lot. And now Hyde just left completely alone. Fissured off from the rest of the team. That is not where you want to be, mister. And PA BKB is down now. And so she has to be very, very careful about the fight. Because I think at this point, the only person that the DJ cares about slamming is the Phantom Assassin. Yeah. Uh, well... They bring back in Jabs, who did buy back to this fight. Slowing him down. Buy back coming from the Tusk. The slow and steady burn down. Ooh, the Siege Creep. It's, good. it's doing damage. And, well, they, they forced out the Glyph as well. They're just trying everything they can to they hold on to it. Creep. Doing what they can. Jump in. Pango ulti. Okay. Going to be able to take down DJ at the start of this fight. This is great for them. Makoto pops the ultimate. Going to get the fear onto two. Trying to bring down Ricky. Can they kill off Savage? He's still grave. Has a jump away, but the Walrus Punch comes down. Will die. Fnatic again have gone too far. And look at that, ladies and gents. The melee barracks survives. Yeah, you think he's probably just going to complete the butterfly. And DJ, than save DJ, the Shadow Blade, Shadow Blade walking in. Makoto, is it your time? Finally. Oh, they find over on the other side. Hide, though. And he is going to die. So they managed to kill him off. Dream of Cell jumps in. And he immediately is going to get grave. Trying to back out. Moon, seeing if he can live through this one. He didn't end up getting the takeoff. So he, he didn't get his Aeon Disc. Uh, Supernova up on the high ground. DJ trying to escape. This fight is going terribly for Fnatic as they lose both the Earthshaker and the Pugnet and might end up losing more if they're not careful. Instant Aeon Disc into Cheese and a Life Drain. You should be pretty great. Uh oh, jump oh, in. Oh, they're going aggressive. They didn't know the Dream of oh, Cell was the there, but it doesn't look like it's going to matter. Dream of Cell pops the Abyssal Blade, turns the fight. They get the Grave out onto Jabs yet again. Soulbind onto two. Can they bring him down in time? Ricky maybe in a little bit of trouble. Tries oh, to get that Blink Strike away, is able to run away. Makoto. Throws out the Requiem of Souls. Everybody feared. Trying to run away. Dream will sell. Jump in from DJ. This dude's crazy as hell. They do have vision with that gem. A ward up on the high ground. Another great grave. 23 Savage in some trouble. Has a blink strike again in one second. Barely able to get that one off. Now the Dagon turning it around onto this PA. Trying to kill her off. Refresher shard coming from Makoto. And that's another jump out. Trying oh, to live through portrait. this one. But they kill off that Ricky. Dark Portrait, how much damage can it really do? I don't know if it's going to be enough. They kill off DJ here in just a second. FBZ gets the blink away. And with that, boom, take another fight. They lose the Ricky, no buyback. 23 Savage was pushing the limits more than what was necessary. Like, he got graved, and the Phantom Assassin was, like, like a, like a third HP, but she is... You're not you're not gonna kill her as a Ricky at this point. She has a ton of armor. She is surrounded by her teammates. Uh, she didn't have her BKB granted, but still, she's massive right now. So I it was wildly unnecessary for tw Twenty Three Savage to go back in after the grave oh came out, God. and he doesn't have buyback. Dude, the 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 graph at one point during this game. Uh, the odds were 11 to 1 for for Boom, and now Boom are favored. <laughs> Jesus. Um, yeah, you look at this, and it, the swings are super real. Uh, okay, another Dark Portrait. They're just going to hold on to that. Turn on to Makoto. He's dropping down super low. Oh, but the Satanic comes out with the BKB, and he's going to be fine. Ricky back up. 20 seconds. Buyback status for the rest of these heroes. Still 300 gold away for that Ricky, even once he is back up and online. Dagon to push back Dream of Cell. Try and stop this pressure that's coming in, but... It is going to be the first melee back barracks claimed by Boom. Now, I uh, also, we, we saw that last time. There's a big difference in experience right now. Well, we got to hold that thought. It looks like they're going to be able to get the double Dagon. Double Good sheep. fissure out onto both. They get the Supernova. He couldn't kill off that Phoenix, but it's on the other side of the fight. Jabs trying to get away from there, but he is eventually, well, life drain? Uh, raises? Second grave? Another grave. Okay. Jabs living. I don't know if it's going to be long enough. The other side of this fight, DJ trying to control Dream of Cell and see if they can get out with the rest of them. They bought back on the Pango. Let's see. Oh my god, they see DJ. Dude, he was trying to hunt and he's just going to try and TP away now, but the, the Vessel Blade comes out. He gets punished over here to the side. They kill Jabs as well. Dream of Cell finds him. FBZ moving in. They still have a catapult there, beating away at it, but the repair kit comes out. Repair kit, very, very strong. Very that hard to stop. The last charge, the first charge. Actually, yeah, the first charge was used on the second time that they pushed. Whoa! Oh, walrus kick, Moon, he wanted to kick him inside the base. 
Oh, he misplayed. A little unfortunate there for him. Oh, man. No, re repair kit's timing out. Glyph is down. Well, that's that's a tough one. You go for it all, and sometimes you miss. But it happens to the best of us. Go. Okay. Abyssal Blade afterwards. Stun up. Dreamo Cell trying to take down one. Is it going to be enough? I say, oh, nice geez. Living Life bash. Friend. Grave, the where grave. is it? The abyssal, you know, they try to take it down a second round now. Great silence oh, in the, the echo slam. slam. DJ, he set him up for it. It all happened in the end as four go down. Dude, all you need is one. And that was a beautiful one. As oh they will God. take down the melee. They're going to slow push it. this. Backdoor protection is going to stay down, so... They don't need to leave anytime soon. 23 Savage is continuing to hit it. Dagon comes out on the back oh, lines. Dreamo Cell oh. trying to get it, but there's going to be the Grave. Again, you got to take down this Dazzle. He's too tough to kill off otherwise. Meanwhile, the Requiem comes out. 23 Savage going to be controlled through his BKB. Tricks of the Trade comes out. Double Hex. Where's the follow-up? Do they have anything else left in the tank? Blink out by one. Tusk is done. And no buyback. That Dark Portrait made it happen. Oh man, they're hanging around here still also, and Pugna's level 25, so with this Nether Blast damage, they can very quickly go through these towers if Ricky's gonna run interference in the meanwhile. Yeah, I, this is so hard right here for Boom to stop. They've gotta get in there and make it happen though. And the buyback comes from that Pangolier. He does have his ultimate back up again, trying to initiate. They find him for the moment, BZ. Backing away, they find the secondary Abyssal Blade onto the Ricky, but another Grave comes out. He's trying to get away. Oh, Abyssal get Blade stunned, again with the Supernova going. He gets the jump out, but will eventually die. They manage to bring him down. Another round of Soul Bind. They take down Ice 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 as well. So two big kills there. Oh, you they're so close to killing the Pango. Living. They're buying back. They want to end this oh. right now, and they get him. The Dagon comes out. All are alive. There's the Dark Portrait. With this, Fnatic should be able to take this game if they can all get back in time. Makoto turns, hits there on the moon. Nullifier comes out as well. They're just hoping to hold on, if at all possible. They got the Glyph. Hex is there. Oh, Makoto, he's in more trouble. Trying to control it. The jump in coming from the Ricky. They're going to try and kick him into Fountain, maybe, if they can. See if they can take him down. Another DJ Echo Slam lands. Is it enough damage? It looks like it might be 23 Savage because the blink strike away. Shadow bladed again. DJ's got the control oh, that he needs, but the Asian is going boss. down. They don't have an answer for the Cardis, the real MVPs in this game. As we have another one of these absolute classics on our hand. Fnatic, take the victory. All right, well, got some laughing to start this game off oh, as nice. we hop into game number two. There's pure objective <laughs> analysis. No opinions are involved here. It's entirely numbers driven. Yeah, I'm sure. Well, that's some numbers right there. Going into the coffers of Hyde. Getting first blood here. Bottom lane is where they're going to try and set up for a kill again on Delight. And he just TP'd into here. So they're saying, we can make this kill happen again. And he's going to have to walk back. The Remnant is down. Dream will sell in some trouble as Moon is still chasing it. With the ET in the screen. area, it looks like they are going to be able to keep vision of him. There's the catch. There's the kill. Ice, Ice, Ice cleans it up. And now oh, Keski, nice they cookie. show up with the Ember Spirit as well. Makoto's in some trouble here. Flame Guard is all the way kind of gone. He's going to have to throw out his Remnant just to make sure that he can get out of there. <laughs> 23 Savage throwing out the... That's uh, my boy. The, the early chat lines. Ink up front and center here. He clears through the creep waves. It's on to Ice Ice Ice. Stomp, not gonna connect. FBZ backing out. They bring in 23 Savage. He gets the switch off though, onto strength form. Rubik stealing that is really nice for him. As FBZ playing intercept onto everybody. DJ looking for an opening, does not have the Echo Slam, but is able to still find the control. Bring down FBZ and Makoto. Just, they, they all have to back out now. They can't do anything here. Taking down maybe, a, well, follow-up chase coming. Maybe Savage switched over into the timber saw, gets the chase down, kills off Kezcute. It, it like as soon as that timber dies, they just oh, have nice no fissure. way to take the fight. Hyde, because he was able to switch over his strength form, is living very long time through this one. As the jump in, turn oh, around, ate remnant. the remnant. He isn't even able, able to get off the scatter blast. Makoto okay. now in trouble as the stun is there. Has another remnant in a second. Makoto trying to back out. Is going to be able to get the jump away. Moon misses just barely there and dissimulate to back out Moon living. Timbersaw just gets eaten alive with a bunch of strength loss and pure damage. Although he does see 23 Savage now, but again, like you have no 
real strong burst. Oh my god, and it's really hard for him to go anywhere right now. They're just gonna beat him down. Almost completely eviscerated there. Uh, Keskid shows up, gonna throw out, well, now the Demonic Purge as well. They've got the chains on the 20 Savage, but he is not going down yet. Shapeshift used, the follow-up coming. Moon able to back out of there again. Do they have enough damage to bring him down? They will. As the jump away, 23 Savage very much switched over into the strength form. Has the adaptive strike still being held in place by the root. Can they kill off this guy? Cookie to jump over to the other side. DJ, they kill him off one time. As the Echo Slam lands onto two, do they have any more follow-up? They will. So they lose their Morphling, but take down both the Timber and the Lycan. Yeah, that's a hell of value. And Ember has no remnants for another three seconds. Kodo gets the jump away. Oh, he had one out. Yeah, and now he is. He's going to be able to get out of there, it looks like. Any extra follow-up? No, they don't got nothing. Yeah. 23 Savage ready to go in. Fissure round one. Going to land. Fissure round two afterwards. Do they even need it? Okay, switching over to strength form. It's a little bit better than the Agi he did earlier, but he's oh. rooted. He's in some trouble. Maybe the big old jump in coming from DJ as they blow them all up. The buybacks come immediately. Oh, Makoto no. trying to take him down, and Savage actually overplays his hand. He gets taken down. It was pretty for a minute, but then they end up losing him because right now yeah. it feels like it should be all them. And like Lycan still is a really scary hero to face off against. This. DJ finds one. FBZ there as well, jumps in and just dead. Kezcute is gone. FBZ, can he get out of here? Does he need to worry about this? They taunt, pull him back in. Another round of the enchant. All right, that, this Ooh. is this is the problem. <laughs> this, this is, is the, the problem. issue. It's uh, is really hard issue. to fight. <laughs> Makoto, in the meantime, up top, went in to try and cut a wave and got punished to stop it. But this is just, it is so ridiculously hard to face in this. Um, the oh, jump no, in. Oh, no, Shadow trying to keep him alive. It ain't going to happen. X marks the spot where he will die. This 23 Savage looking for more. Finds Land the Rubik dead so quickly as they turn back towards the towers. And maybe many Earths, but there's only one Earth Shaker is not well, true. Well, I don't, don't know if I agree with that. And you goddamn liar. Turning to try and fight this, switching over to Strength 4, living through it. The BKB is oh out. Makoto, Makoto just takes too sliced. much damage as he gets blown Killed. up afterwards. One more hit, and the Morph Lane is going to be able to get that kill. Finding another round if he wants to. Cookie forward, gimping onto FBC. He's hitting onto buildings now. Or is he going to go to try and take down this timber saw? With a little bit of help from Ice Ice Ice, he manages to find the kill. They will take Now down there's DJ. only one Earthshaker. <laughs> Use the line. Now it's on cooldown, I'm sure. Jump in again. Oh, he's just going to imprison himself. Has he gone too Silence. far? There's the fissure. Can it connect? They take down ages. the shadow demon. And then the jump back home to push out and take down the melee. There are four heroes alive from Boom, but there is only one hero that matters in this game, and that hero <laughs> is 23 Savage. Yeah, this is uh, feeling super duper over. Oh, Dream of Cell, don't let it happen to you. Just GG out now. Stop the pain. Oh my God, Ice Ice Ice. They're gonna, they, they want to fight anybody else, but there's only one person, again, that really matters is they do find another kill. Almost waveform. Yeah, he's done. Wicked six streak for this morph lane as he is going to take down the tier three tower here to the side. Dream will sell. They actually kill off Moon, who was yeah, diving. Yeah, Moon fountain. was trying to do some shopping or something or like swap neutral items. I don't know what he was doing in the fountain there. 23 Savage switches into the Ursh or the uh, Elder oh, Titan the spider leg bait. And now he's going to turn and try and take down Dream of Self. Maybe a little bit of a misplay here, but he does get that Astral Spirit extra damage for a while, as well as the BKB for a bit. Kez cute. Turns now over to oh the side. Oh my god, down the low. What have you done? Oh. My man, you misplayed. And now they're going to try and run him down again. I oh mean, my god, the disruption of <laughs> the if Fnatic really want to like play this out safely, um, yeah. but are they going to do that? Moon, like he's just running into all of them. BKB out there turns on the hide, trying to kill him off. Is going to get disrupted to keep himself alive for the moment. And Twenty Star just one shot in Makoto right there as he's going to look for the back lines over to the side here. Kez runs cute. into Kezcute. One more punch. Can he get it? He will indeed. And now FBZ. One kind of left alone, as well as Moon, who's going to get eaten up for the moment by the big bad wolf. 
Dream will sell. He's like, actually, I don't want to go after 23 Savage at all. I'm going to try and kill somebody else. Realizes that's not going to work. FPC oh, fully encapsulated in pain as a triple kill comes from 23 Savage. He's back behind lines with the spider legs ready to jump onto him because... Oh, nice. Oh, chance. my God. It's so dirty. G How is this fair? GG. <laughs> yeah, TJ just jumps in and... Well, I mean, we knew it was coming. At a certain point, you just got to ban the Morph Shaker. It just, it's too good. 